Hello, guys. We're here at the Amazon Prime Originals activation here in San Diego. You can tell things are getting loud here. It's really an exciting time, and we're in a top-secret comic book store here inside, and we're here with Mike Benson, the head of marketing for Amazon Studios. So thanks for joining us here today. Oh, thank you. Glad you could come. So um, why bring Amazon uh, to Comic-Con? Comic-Con has become such a major cultural uh piece of the landscape and there's a lot of influential people here who get into IP and they talk about it. They talk about they talk about it with their friends, they talk about it with their families. And so we think it's an important event for us to come bring our shows and let people experience the great original content that we have on Prime Video. So you have three shows that you brought here this time, The Expanse, Carnival Row, and um, Good Omens. I'm oh, sorry, not Good Omens. Um, tell me a little bit more about the shows you guys brought here. So we've got three shows here. We have The Boys, uh, Carnival Row, and The Expanse. Uh, Carnival Row and The Boys are, are brand new shows. The Boys actually premieres on July 26th, so just around the cor- corner. Carnival Row premieres on Labor Day weekend, and then The Expanse actually premieres on Prime Video in December. But all three shows we think have a quality to them that we think the Comic-Con attendee will love. And there's they're big, expansive worlds. They're cool. They're different. They they have, in some cases, something to do with a superhero and, in some cases, like fantasy world. And we think that those types of shows uh, are the types of programs that the people who attend Comic-Con really respond to. Wow, it's getting really loud in here. I can tell people are really excited and pumped. Um, if you think about it, they're not these comic books that you talked about. They're not really the famous franchises that everyone would know about, but they do have diehard fans. Why invest in these niche but loyal uh, loyal comic books? Sure. Well, primarily because the people who attend Comic Con they are they're influencers, right? You hear about influencers all the time on social media. The people who attend Comic Con they get into this IP and they talk about it and they love it. And whether it's uh, old existing IP that's been around for a long time or new IP like the, the shows that we're bringing, uh, people get into it. They like to find and discover what's new and, fig- and be the first to actually explore that. So what we've done here is brought these three shows and created experiences so, so attendees of Comic-Con can come and actually step into the worlds of the show and the storylines and sample the programs themselves. And if they like what they see, they'll talk about it with their friends. So um, Netflix just reported their earnings, and they had a lower subscriber count, but you guys have been growing. And one thing that people have blamed was they didn't really have original content that drew people in. How important is original content to someone like an Amazon Studios when it comes to growing the fan base? Original content is critical for us, and it's one of the investments that we're making that is really uh, unsurpassed by anything that we're doing. Like, we're really looking at how we find content that our customers will love. And our prime customers are, are different because there are shipping benefits and there are cloud storage benefits and music benefits that go along with prime. But there's also streaming, and we have this great original content that's big and different and and we think shows that our customers will love. So we continue to invest significantly in original shows and a diverse range of shows. And they're not just shows that will work here at Comic-Con, but other programs like Jack Ryan and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel that, that really drive big global audiences for us. So if you walk around here, you see, um, you'll see a tower where there's performances happening. You have this comic book store that we're in right now. Is it all about the Instagram-worthy moment to get the word out? It is. We, we want to make a statement with our customers that, that we have the big quality shows that they want to see. And so it's not only creating the experiences around the show, but the whole environment. We want people to step into what we actually think is almost like uh, like an amusement park, if you will. And so it's this bigger activation that, that will allow people to escape and feel welcome and understand that the Prime Video brand is really you know, like something that stands for something much more than just a library of content that they might have wanted to rent. And last question, how do we get in here? How, if you're a fan who's walking around, how do you get into this comic book store? So the comic book store is an Easter egg inside of our activation. And I can't tell you how to get in. It's up to you to figure out how to get into it. So we, uh, for everyone who comes in, and you don't have to have a Comic-Con uh, badge to get in. Anyone can come in. You're handed some coins. And then it's up to you to follow the clues to figure out how to get into this comic book store. 
Thanks so much for joining us today, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you.